Hello everyone and welcome to another Savage's Wild video. Uh, today I've got a very exciting video for you guys. Um, maybe not as exciting for you as it is for me, uh, but what I have in front of me on this table is a whole range of different tools um, that my dad has very generously passed down to me. Um, uh, the other, on the weekend, um, me and my dad decided to uh, go through an old shed um, at our house um, and these were just some of the bits that were at the house that were savable um, that I, he didn't want, he was willing to throw away um, but I saw too much potential in them um, to just throw them in the bin so I kept them, cleaned them up um, and I want to go through all of them, show you guys um, and yeah, just anyone who loves tools will, will enjoy this video basically uh, so let's get into it first thing we have here on our right is a uh, a uh, hand drill, a Stanley one, it says Stanley England on there, um, works fine, uh, there's just a tiny bit of rust on the head which is expected, um, bear in mind that the majority of these tools have probably been in the shed for uh, anywhere between 5 and 15 years, uh, quite a while, uh, maybe even longer than that some of the stuff, but this has been in there a while, it's kept up, uh, it all, all moves okay. Um, that's a really nice piece. I've got an electric drill, uh, as you can see just there, but um, it's nice to have a hand drill uh, when electricity uh, doesn't want to be your friend. There's always this guy to fall back on. Um, so I thought that was pretty cool. My dad's got one himself, which is why he didn't want this one. Um, so now we've both got the same one, which is cool. So that's the first thing. Uh, I'll move around this way. This is nothing too special, but I thought this was kind of cool. Um, it's just an oil pump um, container which is quite cool, I cleaned that up, it was all dirty. Um, it's got engine oil at, at the minute in there, I think. Uh, but that's pretty cool, it's cool to have. I haven't got one, so that's always awesome. Uh, also, we have this uh, vise, it's a small small little vise uh, that just clamps to the table. I think that's probably about two and a half inches, maybe three, I'm not sure. Um, but it's all in wagon order, it spins freely. Um, so I thought that was quite nice worth saving as well. Uh, these are some um, tin snips. Uh, they're really sharp still. Uh, they were quite rusty when I got them uh, but I just gave them a really good wire brush and uh, they move really freely. No trouble at all. Um, they don't have a maker's mark apart from I don't know if you can see that in there. It says SR. Um, I don't know what whether they're initials or, or what have you, but they're, they're cool. Um, I don't have any of these either, uh, so it's nice to have some old ones. Oh, hang on, one second. I don't know if you can see that. It says Kois, C-O-U-Y-S, in, made in Germany. Um, if any of you guys know anything about them, let me know in the comments. But they're kind of cool, good to have again. Next thing we have is this awesome pair of uh, circlip pliers. Um, I've cleaned these up for my dad. My dad wanted these. Um, I've got a, I've got a pair that I uh, can use, but my dad doesn't have any, uh, so I gave these a really nice clean up. Um, they were very rusty, but they still move really freely, um, and they're, they're, uh, they're usable. They're, they do have a make on them. They're Anderton ESB. I don't know why this camera doesn't focus properly. Uh, you can't really see that, but it says Anderton there. ESB. Again, I've never heard of Anderton as a make. Um, I did try and Google it, but I couldn't find anything on them. Uh, so if you know anything about these as well, leave it in the comments again. Um, but they're a really nice pair of pliers there. Really good. Um, more heavy stuff at the back here. I've got a couple of club hammers. Oh, sorry, I kicked the camera. Um, I believe this is a two pound and a one pound. Um, or two kilos, sorry. And a kilo. But, uh, this came in handy when me and dad took down the shed. Um, I imagine my dad probably watched this video, so uh, he'll remember this hammer. He, he was uh, taking down all the wooden panels with this like they were nothing. Um, so it's I've already got a club hammer, a new one, uh, but this, these are two really nice to have. I haven't got one this big, um, so this is really nice. And it's cleaned up well. Um, I gave it a wire brush again. Uh, and they both came up really nicely. Here is one of my favourite things that I've found. Um, I only realised after cleaning them up, um, they work really nicely. 
Uh, I gave him a nice wire brush, and on the on the maker's mark, I can make out Lucas. I can't make out the other word quite. Uh, no, I can make out Lucas, and then under it, it says 1943. Um, I can only imagine that's probably when these were made, which makes these a good 70 odd years old, which is incredible. Um, they've definitely got a lot of use in them. You can see by the condition that they're in. Uh, but they work fine. The jaws on them are absolutely fine. They still close uh, flat. So these are awesome. Um, awesome pair of pliers to add to the collection. I'll definitely get some more use out of them. So that's sweet. Next thing, we have this screwdriver. Um, it's a very, I've, got, I've got a ton of screwdrivers in this uh, lot. There's a load in this tin just to my left here, uh, which I'll get to. This is one that stood out to me. It's really nice. Um, it's called a Taskmaster. It's a five sixteenth by six inch. Um, that's, I'm guessing that's the model number. Um, but it's a really nice. You can. It feels really nice in the hand. Um, and it's also got this um, hex bit here, so you can use a span on it if you need more leverage. Uh, magnetic tip. Um, it was. It had a little bit of rust on it when I got it, uh, but it cleaned up really nicely. And so. That's an awesome screwdriver. I can feel the you can when you get a tool, you can feel the quality, um, and this feels like a really good quality screwdriver. Um, so that will definitely come in handy somewhere along the line. Um, this is one of the things that was really far gone when uh, I picked it up, but this is cool. This is a Draper torque wrench, uh, number three thousand, um, and it's obviously the traditional. Uh, it's just got this this I don't know what you'd call it bit that moves um, depending on how tight the thing is. It's a half inch drive, um, but it's quite cool. I have got a torque wrench, one of the clicky ones, um, but I didn't want to see this thrown away. I do like Draper tools as well, so I thought it was cool to keep this one going. Um, yeah, so I thought that was nice, uh, a nice torque wrench to keep. Also got just a claw hammer here, um, just nothing too special about this just a traditional claw hammer had a bit of wear as you can see the mushroom on the end um, but still decent hammer gonna do the job uh, another screwdriver nothing too special about this one uh, it's a bit bent as well um, it's definitely <laughs> seen some uh, seen some action in this time but it works and uh, be good for uh, using as like a chisel uh, you can see someone's already done that on the end uh, but that'd be nice to have add to the collection here we have a a DG soldering iron, uh, which is cool. David Griffin Limited. I'm guessing that's the the maker. Um, I didn't want to throw this out either. It's pretty much brand new. I don't think my dad's ever used it. Uh, but it's a looks like a nice soldering iron. It's got a decent length wire on it. Um, interchangeable head. So that's cool. At least there's another sold and nine I can add to my collection in case my other one decides to, to keel over. Um, right, we'll move over to this side. Ignore the stuff in this corner here. This is all uh, new stuff, my stuff. Uh, it's just these few bits here that we're going to look at. Um, I'll come back to you in one second. Okay, so let's have another look at these uh, these other bits. And this tin, this little uh, cracker tin, is where all the screw. There's just a bunch of screwdrivers in here that were in there. Um, I did hammer this shut. So there we go. Um, just an absolutely random bunch. Uh, I'll pull a few out. There's a, there's a couple that um, got my attention. This is a really old-looking screwdriver. Um, you can tell it's handmade. Uh, there's no maker marks on it or anything like that. Um, I'd imagine. This is before even my dad's time. I'd imagine this is probably, uh, possibly his dad's, uh, or maybe uh, another relative or friend that was a bit older, because um, it looks really old. You can just tell by the way that uh, it's shaped and the wooden handle. Um, but it's really cool. I probably won't use it, but it's just really cool to have, uh, knowing that it's probably really old. Uh, we've got another one here, which is, again, I imagine probably made by the same person uh, or around the same time because this one's got a similar 
a similar edge, but it has this one has got a marking on it. Um, and it says something along the lines of maple and sun. I can't really see it too well. Um, you probably won't be able to see it on camera either, but it's just a tiny little marking on there. Um, but that's a really cool screwdriver to also to have uh, with a wooden handle. Um, so I'll keep that one. Uh, the rest are just kind of one of the mill screwdrivers. There is this one with a wooden handle, which I thought was also quite cool. Um, but the rest are just kind of normal ones. Everyday stuff, so I'm not going to show you them. Um, but yeah, that's them. Screwdrivers, pretty cool. I think I'm pretty much set for flathead screwdrivers now. I'm never going to ever need one ever again. Put them there. Uh, the next thing we have is an electrician's toolkit. All, again, doesn't look used. Uh, there was a foam piece in here, but um, it was kind of disintegrated, so I took the foam out uh, and just put all the bits back in there. There's just a screwdriver, um, electrical testers, electrical uh, wire cutters, uh, a few fuses, stuff like that. Um, looks pretty old, but uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. Good to have. Um, I, do, I don't really like electrics too much. Uh, but my dad's pretty good at it, so uh, I'll keep that here for when he helps out. <laughs> um, here we have just a hacksaw frame. Uh, it did have a blade on it, but it was completely rusty, so I took it off. Um, but that's cool to have. I've got a hacksaw already, but um, this is a bit older, and it's like a backup. Uh, so that's cool. Here there is a, a Hilke tap and die set. Um, it's BA, which I probably won't use too much. Um, but I thought I'd keep it anyway. It's still a bit dirty. Um, but it's all in one piece, all the bits are there. Uh, so I thought I'd keep that as well. Uh, just a tiny little ruler. Nothing too special, little uh, six inch rule steel one. It's pretty cool. Um, so the last thing to look at, I'm going to move you guys in a bit closer for this, is uh, this toolbox here. is belong to my dad um, when my dad was around I believe around my age now uh, in his 20s he worked in Great Yarmouth on an oil rig um, I can't remember exactly what he said he did um, but it was electrical related I believe um, so this is his toolbox from then um, I'm guessing he just brought it home never took anything out of it and just kept it from then uh, it's been in the shed um, he did again. He didn't want this. Um, he doesn't want anything that's inside it. I couldn't see this thing being thrown away, um, so I thought, why not keep it? Uh, you can see there he's got oil field inspection services, which I'm guessing was his company, um, and just a few other random stickers uh, on top. It's got a couple of little pull-down things here to open. It's quite stiff, but it will open. Uh, it's just got a load of random tools in it, really. Um, I'll try and move you guys in without causing too much shade. Right, there we go. Uh, in the top compartment, there's just bits like wire brushes, uh, all small bits, um, like this uh, feeler gauges, files, uh, tweezers, uh, just lots of small bits. There's also these cool little wrenches. Um, just grab them out here quickly to show you. This little set of this little set of wrenches, um, electrical wrenches. I thought they were pretty cool. This one is just tiny, tiny. I don't even know what millimeter that is. Um, but they're all made in England. I don't know what company because it doesn't say. I don't think. It just says 2BA. Oh, I'm guessing that's the size, 4BA, 2BA. Uh, made in England, that's all it says. Um, but it's a cool little set, little six piece. Um, electrical ones, I like them. Uh, just load of other little random bits, electrical bits. Uh, a few drill bits. Uh, an old five pound note. <laughs> if you're from uh, from the UK like me, you'll, and you're a bit older, you might remember these. Uh, but they don't look like that anymore. 
this tiny little, another little neat thing, this tiny little uh, C or G clamp, whatever you call them. Uh, look how small that is on my palm. It's ridiculous. My little finger. It's half the size of my little finger. Um, it's really cool. Uh, I treasure that one. I will treasure that one. Uh, that's pretty much it for this top section. It's just loads of, as you can imagine, in an electrician's toolbox. Uh, lots of random stuff. Also another clamp, which is slightly bigger, but also very tiny. Um, so we'll leave that. In the top here we have uh, just random bits of paper from when he was working there. Um, these things have corroded. I don't, I'm not quite sure what they are. They look like some sort of screwdrivers, which I might clean up. Um, they're called uh, screw gripping driver, which I'm going to guess is a, a type of screwdriver, a uh, specialist type, uh, which I'm not familiar with, so I won't get into them. Uh, brand new electrical tester, which he hasn't used. Um, spark plug uh, T handle, which is cool. Um, I think this is an electric soldering iron, judging by that, um, which is quite cool. It looks new, doesn't even look like it's been used, but that's cool. Uh, some Allen keys, both standard and metric. Uh, this is probably my favourite tool out of this this whole toolbox. Um, it's a it's a dry it's a bit driver. Uh, it's a Kamasa. I think you say Kamasa or Kamasa, Kamasa uh, tools, number 3607. Um, it's got a screw on the end, and the uh, the bits are kept inside. Uh, so it's got all the original Phillips and uh, little bits there inside the handle. Um, you can tell this is a really good quality tool. I've heard of Kamasa tools now, um, but I thought that was really nice. Um, I like these i tell you what, about the, the old tools, I love these clear coloured uh, handles that they have on all types of screwdrivers and stuff, I think they look so cool. Um, I just, I love the look. Um, and it feels good, feels like a decent tool. Uh, so that's probably my favourite thing out of here. Uh, there's then just a random tiny pack of, oh sugar, I dropped them. Uh, a small pack of uh, wrenches in there which are kind of cool. I probably won't use them because I, I don't use bolts that small but they're cool. Um, it's a little file set. There's also a ton of screwdrivers in there which I'm not going to get them all out. Um, there's also some nut drivers, some CK nut drivers um, which are nice. There are three different sizes in there. Um, there's a load of files. Uh, there's actually three different pairs, three different pairs of these uh, wire strips in there, there's two green pairs um, and there's also a yellow pair in there which are brand new. Uh, I already have a pair of Draper ones but now I have four apparently. Um, that's kind of it really for this. Uh, this is one tool that I don't know what it is, I forgot to ask my dad um, which I'll probably ask him but if anyone knows what this is um, please let me know. Um, when you pull, when you push the uh, handles together, it kind of opens up as a three-prong um, deal. I don't know why. Um, I don't know what you'd use that for either. Um, it's obviously electrical related. So if you know, leave it in the comments. Uh, I'd be interested to find out what that is. Uh, that's pretty much it. I mean, there's some other cool screwdrivers in here. Some neat little wooden ones. Uh, some Stanley ones, old Stanley. Old little Stanley screwdrivers are pretty cool. Uh, what else we got? Brand new wire brush in there. Yeah, some tiny little guys' hand tools. I don't know who the guy is, but thank you, guy. Uh, that's pretty much it for this. Um, there's some. There's a couple of a couple little bits that weren't in here. Um, got this EverReady pencil case, which I thought was pretty neat. Uh, I love the colour of uh, older, uh, older anything really, um, especially when it's car related. I thought this was really cool. Um, still looks in pretty good condition, uh, so I kept that. Uh, some grinding paste for the valves. I only kept it because I like the tin. Um, I'm never, probably never going to use it, but uh, I like the tin. Also, an old K 
pastoral lime grease, uh, which was cool. And he also gave me a whole tub of uh, copper paste, which I was getting low on. So that's not old, but it's uh, cool to have. So yeah, that's kind of it for that toolbox. Um, some pretty cool stuff in there. I'll keep it all in the toolbox as it is. Um, but yeah, that's that. Okay, there's a few other bits on here. Um, I've got a load of C clamps. This one here was a uh, I already had this this one that's more blue than the rest. Um, but there was also this. I think this is a 12 inch um, C clamp at the back. Uh, this seven inch one here, and then there's these three smaller ones, which I thought were really cool. Uh, which I'll try and take off here to show you. Eh. Well, they're stuck on there. Um, there's that one there, as you can see. Um, I think it's about three inches, which is cool. But there's these two, which I thought were the most neat. Um, this one here, which is a, a little two inch C clamp, which I thought was pretty cool. Um, they all work fine. Uh, they all wind in and out absolutely fine. Um, so I didn't see the point in throwing them away. Um, and this one, even cooler, um, it's a tiny little one incher, which I thought was pretty neat. Um, just to have, why not? Might as well keep it. Oh, there goes that one. So yeah, that's uh, the only other thing I got, which I'll just move you guys over here for, was um, these guys, which are just some containers for screws and whatnot. Um, they were all empty when I got them. There's four big ones here, uh, Stanley, Stanley ones, um, and then there's just this random one here. I filled two of them up with various screws and whatnot, but um, the rest are still empty. Which I, but then I can fill them, can't I? Um, that's kind of it. That's pretty much all I got. Um, the fact that these tools were uh, handed down from my dad is even more special. Um, so they're not just any tools there family tools which is cool um, uh, if you've got any questions about any of the tools that I've shown you if you've got any information about any of the tools that I've shown you um, um, I don't know a lot about tool brands names uh, the history of um, but if you do uh, leave a comment down below I'd love to hear some uh, hear some stuff and if you have any tools that you've been handed down from a family member be it dad grandfather whoever um, and you've made a video of it uh, let me know. I, I love watching them as love as like as much as I love showing these tools. Um, I like seeing what other people get um, and what other tools people have. Uh, so leave a comment. Make sure you like it if you did enjoy the video, uh, and subscribe for more videos. I'll thank you very much for watching. Bye bye. They talk about me like my full name's Akira, but compensate a pairs for the less than half fearless. I already hit the button, so I don't understand if this is the epidemic, then I don't want to cure it. This kid goes west, five will die to the weaving a generation, walking dead on arrival. He dreamt as far as a cubicle, this game over time, a smiling swine diving from the 28th floor, and it was never a question the hell we waiting for. Had you racing towards painted doors, thinking you were